I really like how my makeup came out today, girl. You was not invited. That's good enough. I am here for it. Y'all, at this point, I don't want any other concealer. Do that. Boom, it is on. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It's morning now. It's probably night when y'all are looking at this. But it's morning over here. <laughs> I was supposed to do my nails last night. I actually ended the vlog yesterday evening and I was gonna do like my nails yesterday evening and vlog it. But I didn't get around to doing that. So I'm... um about to get up and um I've just been laying here y'all I haven't really been asleep I've just been laying here on my phone but I'm about to get up I need to do my hair because I didn't even twist it and I don't even think I'm gonna twist it I'm just gonna put it into pigtails in the back and then throw my wig on so I can film today because I have a couple of videos I need to film, but I really need to do my nails before I do anything. So I'm going to do my hair first and then do my nails and I'll show y'all how I do them. But they look a little, a little messy right now. I'm missing two, um, but I'm going to show y'all how I do my press ons because I have like a new little technique that I do. I mean... It's new to me. It's not like, you know, groundbreaking or anything, but it's a new technique that I've started that I love that I'm not going to stop doing because it's been working better than it has in the past. So, yeah, I'm about to get myself out of this bed. I need to make the bed up, brush my teeth, wash my face, do my hair, do my nails. And then start my day with filming videos. Um, and that's really all I have planned for today. Because I have a um, another campaign I need to film or video a sponsored video that I need to film. And I also need to film uh, a Sephora recommendations video because the Sephora sale is really, really soon. Like, when does it start? Something in my eye. I need to wash my face, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I think Sephora... Oh, I just got an email. Mm-mm. -mm. Another thing I need to do today is clean up my freaking walk-in closet because it is still a hot mess. Like, it looks so bad, y'all. So I'm going to clean that up later today. Um, yeah, I really didn't plan anything today. Just work, which is the usual. Like, nothing new. But let's get up, girl and get the day started. I know you are. How did you get in here? Come on camera, focus. Y'all see that? Look at our friend right there. Like, you was not invited. And you was gonna get got. I'm about to get you. Got your ass! Woo! Y'all look at this. Look, look at this. R.I.P. R.I.P. Now I gotta put this in the laundry. This is the hair towel that I killed it with. This is my little hair wrap from Crown Affair. And I killed the fly with it, y'all. That's like the first time I've ever killed a fly on the first try. And I'm so glad I filmed it, y'all. That is crazy. But I'm gonna throw that in the laundry. Okay, so before I already washed my face, I already brushed my teeth. I did that with the camera off, obviously. Um, I want to show y'all two products that I just finished up and we're about to start a new product. We're going to try out a new product today. So, um, and there is the serum. 
So these are two serums that I emptied. This one is from Fresh, it's the Tea Elixir Serum. And then the Glow Recipe Serum, which I literally just, 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 just finished up um, yesterday. So since I'm out of these two, I'm gonna start something different. We are gonna try out the Urban Skin RX. I just opened the box. It came in this box right here. And I shared this in a vlog with you guys. I did a little unboxing, like a little PR unboxing. So I received this from the brand. Again, it's the Urban Skin RX Retinol Rapid Repair and Dark Spot Treatment. So if y'all cannot tell already, I got a couple of new friends on the face because me being me, I picked at it. <laughs> So this right here picked at, and then I have a new friend right here that I picked at. Well, I popped and I wasn't supposed to. And you know, when you pop a pimple, it leaves a mark. So we're gonna, we're gonna experiment with this. I'm gonna actually, I guess I'll document it since this is my first time using this. So this is day one of using this retinol uh, dark spot treatment. So it's supposed to, it says, this treatment delivers dramatic benefits of hyperpigmentation and aging skin as it improves the look of uneven skin tone, breakouts, post breakout marks, which is what I have, dark spots, which is what I have, fine lines and poor size. So we're about to see what this is all about, okay? So the cleanser that I just finished using is my Tatcha Deep cleanser it's the one with like the little mini exfoliating beads in it and um that's all i did i don't have anything else on the face oh i just lied to y'all i just put this on i just used a toner the um good molecules niacin mind brightening toner which is another product that i recently received and i've been using this for uh, about i'd say about a week don't know if y'all can see where I'm at in the bottle, but I've been using it. Um, it's not like like anything groundbreaking, but I will say it doesn't dry out my skin. So I like that. It's, um, it's formulated with vitamin C, niacinamide, and it's supposed to brighten, improve the, brighten and improve the appearance of um, enlarged pores. But yeah, I just use, started using that because I ran out of the Ola Hammerskin dark spot toner that I was using. So that's my thing, you guys. When I run out of product, I go to the next instead of just letting that product go to waste, unless I don't like the product. But anyway, let's try this out and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it has a pump. This is day one of using this. I'm gonna try, hopefully I like it. And you're supposed to use, it says start out um, using it two to three times a week. So I'm gonna do that. I don't wanna use this every single day since I'm new to it. So we're gonna start out as, um, start with two to three times a week. And I'm only gonna use this in the morning. Cause at night I use, um, I don't wanna mix this in with my Curology. I use this um, every night. So don't want to mix that in with this so i'm just gonna put this use this as my morning skincare product and then after this i'm gonna use a moisturizer let's get some product out let's do should i do just one pump or two let's do one and a half pumps and we're gonna put it on the skin I would just put this on the areas that I need. So really right here, I'm just gonna massage it in really good. There's no scent. It's out of my face. I also got like these weird, random breakouts on both sides of my nose. And I actually know what happened. I was wearing some sunglasses that I haven't worn in a few years because I thought that pair of sunglasses were like, I thought I lost them. And then I found them when I was cleaning out my car the other day. 
And something told me to just, you know, clean them. Like, you know, like the little rubber pieces that lay on the side of your nose. Something told me to clean it, but I didn't. So I've been wearing those glasses. It's the black framed Quay Key sunglasses. I've been wearing those and I got two little breakouts from those sunglasses because girl, there's no telling how long they've been sitting in my car and I just put them on the face. I should have just sanitized the little rubber, but I didn't. But anyway, um, okay, this like, it feels really sticky on my skin. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, I guess. Um, but we're gonna see how this goes, girl. I'm, I think the next time, I'm actually gonna use it two days in a row. No, yeah, let's do that. Let's use it two to three days straight every week and see how it goes. Hmm, hopefully I don't get any type of reaction to it. Like hopefully my skin <sighs> cooperates with this. So I also just ran out of the Shani Darden moisturizer. This is my second one, you guys. Y'all, I've been going through this stuff because I literally do my skincare twice a day. <laughs> well, no, yeah, twice a day. Morning skincare, night skincare. So I've been using the mess out of the stuff that I have. So um, I will put this on though. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb sunscreen. I need to get another one of these. I actually want to get one for Robert too because the one that he's been using, let me show you. The one that I gave him is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate um, sunscreen and it's almost out, so I think I'm gonna switch him over to the Believe because I love this. And he has dry, like I feel like this is gonna really um, go with his skin type too because he has dry skin, but he's oily around his, kind of like me, I get oily right here, but he's really oily. He has an oily skin in this area too, but I notice around the perimeter of his face, is really really dry so i think this will be really good for him so i'm gonna order a couple more of these because i want another one for me and then i'm gonna get him one because i'm almost out of this but i love this sunscreen y'all see that y'all hear that i am running low on this stuff so the next one i get is gonna be my third one <laughs> but i love it i absolutely love it it does not give a white cast and it just melts like it literally melts into the skin and it's spf 50 so i think he'll like this and he um works out and runs around the neighborhood so he's always outside in the sun so i think he'll enjoy this one too i'll probably let him try well i don't have much left i was gonna say i'll let him try this before i get another one or get one for him but i think he'll really like it um okay i am done here in the bathroom now i need to go do my hair and then we're gonna do my nails i'm excited because i desperately need to redo these nails like so 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 bad um so yeah girl three empty products that i just shared with you guys and i'm so so glad that i'm going through my products because yeah i'm gonna throw this box away throw this in the laundry i need to do laundry and let's finish up with the day mm -mm 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 -mm. Got my hair tie. We're gonna tie it down so it can be flat flats. Boom. Just like that. The wig cap makes, like it pushes these down so it's not gonna like be um, little lumps in the back when I have my wig on, but this works for me. It's when I just feel lazy and I don't want to do too much with my hair. That's why I love wearing wigs. Like, it just is so convenient and it's so fast, it's so easy. The only thing I dread doing is washing, like doing my natural hair routine, my wash routine. 
co-wash routine, all of that. That's the only thing I dread. But other than that, it's so like it's just quick and easy and yeah. So alright, for real for real. Let's go do my nails because I keep stalling, I keep rambling. So let's do the nails. I just popped them off. Okay. I don't recommend popping your nails off, but it's just what I do when I feel lazy and I don't want to soak them. So I just went ahead and popped the rest off. But these are the nails I'm using. These are the Clear Kiss Nails, and this is the Long um, Salon Acrylic Natural Nails. And then I'm going to be using the OPI Gel Color. This is in the shade Bubble Bath. I'm also going to be using the OPI Gel Top coat i always use the glue that comes with the nails so in each pack you will get nail glue that looks just like this and i love it i always 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 used to use this because it works and it lasts but let me show you what i've been using recently beetles nail glue it's gel nail glue though so you have to use a led light to cure it and the one i've been using with this is this little one right here hopefully you can okay so it's already plugged in but i use this small one simply because when you use nail glue well gel nail glue you have to hold the nail on it and you have to do it like one by one and I can't do that with my other LED light because it's too big and like it's too low. So I try to put my hand under it. It kind of hits it and it just gets all in the way. So if you don't have an LED light, you need to get one if you're going to use any type of nail color, whether that's a nail um, gel nail color like the one from OPI, which is what I'm going to be using today, or a nail glue. So I find that nail glue... Well, gel nail glue lasts so much longer than the original nail glue that comes with the nails. Even though I popped two off, I will say this still lasts way longer than using this. Um, and it's stronger too, y'all. This is so, 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 so strong. Well, I'm going to um, just file my nails down a little bit with my little trimmer that I got. Hopefully, okay, the battery is really low on this, but I need it to work just enough for me to buff out my nails. I'm not going to do it too much. Let me. And that's because some of the glue is still left on my fingernails and I cut my nails down some more too. I think I'm going to file them down even more. Okay, so this isn't perfect. I just wanted to get most of the glue off of my nails. Everything I'm using will be in the description, y'all. I need a napkin in here because <laughs> it's getting everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to go and just file my nails down some more because I really don't mind my nails being super short because I'm going to be putting a acrylic on top of it anyway all right done filing them and i try to make them as rough as possible so that way the glue can stick i mean it's gonna stick anyway but i just like for the nails to be a little rough because it grips to the glue better when it's like that one thing about these clear ones they don't have little numbers on them like the other ones do because when they have the numbers on them i can remember which ones work this works for this finger. Let's do the middle. And I put the nail glue on my natural nail. Now I know some people um, some people may do it differently. Some people may just put it on the nail and then put it on their um, and then apply it. But what works for me is doing it this way. So I take a little bit of the nail glue and paint it on the nails like you're just a, um, applying nail polish. And once I have enough on there, see, it just looks like I put on clear nail polish. I grab the nail that fits, so this one for the thumb, and I press it into my nail bed, so that way it looks like it's actually growing out of my nails. So I press it in just like that, 
And then I put it under the LED light. This is why I need this small LED light because it's easier doing it with one nail at a time. And just like that, it's on. It literally looks like my real nail. Like you don't see any bubbles, nothing. So you are gonna have a little um, glue come out on the side. So what I do, make sure it's dry though. But what I do is I just take these scissors and then I just get the side of the glue off with it. And it comes off so easy too. That's why I like the gel glue because it's easier to work with. And then this is what it looks like once I am finished. So I need to do my other hand, but I just want to show y'all what it looks like with all of the nails on the fingers. See how it just looks super natural. Like it literally looks like my real nails. Like there's no bubbling on the nail bed and there's, it just looks so natural. Now I'm filing the nails. So this is the shape I usually like maybe a little bit skinnier. So this is what it looks like from the front. We'll get it a little bit more narrow. There's something about this shape that I am so in love with. Like it just is so feminine and I love it. And it's gonna look so much better once I put the nail polish on. But I just wanna show y'all how I like my nails, the shape that I do. And yeah, so that's good enough. I am here for it. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them. So this is what it looks like before I start fouling the nails. And then this is what I'm going for right here. To get the shape, I start at the edge of the nail, like right here at the end, and I start filing just like this until it starts to make a point. So I'll do one side first. Can y'all see? See that is already starting to form the shape. So that's how I make it and also try to keep the length of the nail. So I always start, I didn't mean to flick y'all off. I always start on the corner and then start filing. Instead of going from the side first, like instead of just doing it like this, I start at the top on the corner and then work my way down. So, and I find that doing it like that, it's easier and I get the shape that I want when I do it that way. So this is how it looks on one side and then I go to the other side at the corner right there and work my way down. Okay, now I'm gonna paint my nails with the OPI gel polish in the shade Bubble Bath. I only do one coat and usually I'll go in with a base. Did I tell y'all this earlier? I don't think I did. But I'm going to say it again anyway, just in case I didn't. But usually I go in with the base, Beetle Base Polish, and then go on top of it with this, and then go on top of it again with another clear coat. But I find that when I use, like, press-ons, I don't necessarily have to go in with the base. I just go straight in with the gel color. So I could use more coats, but I actually like how it looks with one coat. So that's what we're about to do. Oh, and I went ahead and pulled out my other... LED light, this is bigger. I can just put my whole hand under it to dry my nails. So this is what the color looks like. It's just a natural pink, really, really pretty and sheer. And I'm just gonna take it and coat my thumbnail. Now I'm gonna go in with the top coat to seal everything in. Okay, done with my nails. Look how pretty they look, you guys. Y'all can't tell me these don't look like real acrylic nails. Like, look at that. Like, look how close it is to my cuticle. And look how natural it looks. Like, you can't even tell these are press-ons. I love, love, love them. I love them so freaking much this is why i get the clear because when i put the top um the opi bubble bath on it kind of looked like glass like i don't know like am i making any sense like it almost looks like glass and i like y'all 
Y'all can't tell me these aren't pretty. So yeah, if I went in with another coat of bubble bath, it will look lighter than this. Like it, you can really see the pink, but I just like this girl because it just looks like glass nails and I love, love, love it. Time to do my makeup. I started doing my brows already. Um, and I changed into the robe just in case I drop makeup on my clothes because I don't care about this robe getting dirty, but um, I'm just gonna quickly do my face so I can sit down and film videos because I'm not filming any tutorials today. I'm just doing sit down videos. So yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm a mess y'all like I can't wait to just get cute today because I feel like I don't know I just I just want to get cute so that's what we're about to finish up doing I use up the sunscreen I need to put this in my Sephora cart because I love it it's a Sephora Invisible UV Flawless Primer so we used it up today I barely could squirt anything else out. So that's what's on my face right now, besides what I put on earlier, which was the serum and then the um, sunscreen. But I needed to prime my face, so I figured I'd go ahead and use the rest of that up. So what do I wanna put on today as far as like foundation? I don't know you guys do I want to do a foundation today I don't think I do <laughs> um I haven't used Danessa in a while let's do this Danessa Myricks since I haven't used this in a good minute and this gives me a lot of coverage so I'm not really gonna go in with a lot just a squirt here and then a squirt here mm -mm -mm. And I'm going to probably just use my Rim Beauty Concealer to spot conceal and use my sponge. And just to go over those little spots that I had in my face. I look like somebody's mama, y'all. <laughs> I look crazy. I mean, I still look cute, though. But I definitely look like somebody's mama, auntie, grandma. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. probably all I'm gonna use. Now I'm just gonna try to spread everything out on the face. I just don't like the way that foundation smells. The yummy skin i don't like how it smells it smells weird it kind of smells like metal i don't know but mm -hmm. elf concealer y'all at this point i don't want any other concealer i mean i like a few other concealers but just give me all the e.l.f. camo concealers at this point. All right, I'm gonna play some stuff on my phone while I do the rest of my face. So I'll speed you guys up and I guess I'll put some music on or something, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna play some stuff on my phone.
Okay, wig is on y'all. I feel so cute. Ow. I just gotta brush it out. But I will, let me show y'all how I do it. Let me take it off. Cause y'all are still asking how I put my wigs and stuff on. So I just put the wig cap on. You can see that everything is flat. Now that um, I have the cap on, you can't really tell that I have on. I had like little balls in the back of my head, but here's my wig. I sewed this thick band on it so that way it can stay in place so I won't have to use any glue or any type of adhesive. So I just throw it on, girl. I literally throw this thing on. So put it to the back, do that, boom, it is on. So I'm gonna pull it down like this. The battery's about to die, so I'm trying to hurry up. And yeah, and I just gotta find my brush to brush it out. Y'all look at these new earrings I got. And I got them because of Janae. She should not have shown these on her Instagram. I'm just playing, but um, she influenced me to get these earrings. These are the Balenciaga heart earrings. And I ordered them off of uh, Farfetch. So I'm gonna put these on. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, but I just want to look cute. And these are really cute. They were a little pricey, but it was, I had like a treat yourself moment, you know? So. I'm gonna be wearing these in the video. So if y'all see the video and you're wondering what earrings I have on, it is these from Balenciaga. Look how cute they are. Oh my God. I love gold hoops and I saw that these were a heart. So I had to get my look y'all. Are you kidding me? They are so cute. Ah, uh, I can't, I just can't, they are just, a uh, freaking adorable. <gasps> They're so cute, y'all. They're so cute. I wonder if, I mean, I like how they, you can see the actual heart. I like that, but I wonder if I switch the earring, if it'll, hold on. It's just kind of hard to pull them apart. Ugh. I wonder if I put this one over here, would it still look? Like, um, let me see. I wonder if you'll really see the heart if I do it, or would it be more inwards? Let me see. Yeah, this only thing about these earrings, y'all, is kind of hard to freaking pull it apart. Oh my gosh. Maybe if I have to, I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask her or her earrings like that, but. Okay, let me try to put this one in this ear. Let me see what it looks like. But yeah, I had a treat yourself moment. <laughs> I feel like I always have those moments, but I deserve, you know? Okay, yeah, if you do it this way, it doesn't, I mean, it still kind of looks the same. You can still see the heart, but I thought it would be more like it'll lay like this a little bit more but it's still so freaking cute i can't like i can't get over how cute these are i'm just gonna put this one in this ear and i went ahead and um I had like points on Farfetch and I had to use it. I had like um, these reward points and they had an expiration date and I was like, dang girl, I hadn't ordered off this site in a minute. So I might as well just get them off Farfetch, but they do have them on the original Balenciaga website. Yes. So as you can see, I changed into another robe because I am filming in this robe. I hate trying to figure out what to wear in videos so that's why y'all always see me in robes like i have a million and one different robes this one's from skims i got it uh last year year before year before last and it's just a regular gray soft lounge robe so yeah i'm filming this video in a robe which is fine because i feel like it still looks really cute the hair is looking good so hopefully any of you who watched me put my wig on, if you've never seen me do that, hopefully this kind of helped you because I still to this day get questions about 
my freaking wig but i love this thing girl i love love it like lace wear <laughs> lace wear i'm gonna put a little bit more bronzer on it because yeah but all right for real for real let me go film these videos because time is ticking girl so let me get the videos filmed and i will come back and talk to you guys later on today i guess i don't know depending on how i feel after i film these videos but i'll come back and um check in with you guys in a little bit so i'll see y'all later bye okay so i didn't come back yesterday after filming my videos it is day two of me filming i already did my face um and i threw my hair up in this like little claw clip I thought it was cute you know something a little different i just have on my pajamas from skims but i'm about to sit down and um film another video for today which is going to be my sephora recommendations i'm going to actually try to have that up really really quickly for you guys and obviously it's going to be up before um this vlog goes up but yeah so i'm actually going to be filming in this room because you know a little change a little switch up so i'm getting all my stuff together to feature in the video and um oh by the way day two of me using the um the dark spot serum from skin rx that we used yesterday so we are on day two and then i'm going to use it one more time tomorrow so we're going to do three days a week um instead of doing like every single day but i really like how my makeup came out today girl I don't have on lashes i just have on some a little bit of mascara but i like how it came out i'm wearing the buxom dark chocolate lip liner with nyx cosmetics cinnamon roll lip gloss which i haven't worn in a while but i like the combo but anyway i'm about to get all my stuff together and that way i can sit here and film the video um and i guess check back in with you guys later on today Bye.